Hello everyone, welcome to Vixter Root Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning today to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And if any of you are interested in booking personal tarot readings with me, you can check out the Etsy shop. The link is down below. So in today's reading, you guys, we are going to be connecting to your person. We're just going to see what messages they have for you today. We are going to be using the Cat Tarot deck for today's reading just to start us off. Um, and we have three different groups to pick from for today. So group number one here, you are going to be the chariot card and group number one, you have this beautiful rose quartz crystal showing up for you today. So that's group number one here. Group number two, you have the devil showing up for you. And group number two, you have the pyrite crystal showing up for you for today's reading. And group number three, you have the Ten of Cups showing up for you here. And group number three, you have the Opalite Crystal showing up for you. All right. So these are the three groups you can pick from for today's reading. Um, the timestamps are down below in the description box and in the pinned comment below this video. So hop into your reading whenever you are ready. And yeah, I'll see you all in your chosen groups. Feel free to pick for more than one person or feel free to pick for more than one group if you feel drawn to that. Hello, group number one. Welcome. You have picked the Rose Quartz Crystal for today's reading and you have picked the Chariot card for today. So we have Cancer Energy showing up here. There's a feeling of your person wanting security that's immediately showing up here as a message, like security within the relationship. Um, I'm getting the feeling that they are quite hesitant, but at the same time, want to take action. Like they want to do stuff. They want to move things along. They're just like not sure what the right course of action is at this time. I feel like this person is checking up on you right now to kind of figure out or try to see what is going on with you. Um, they feel like they get security out of just knowing what's going on in your own life. And they try to get as much information about that as they possibly can, not directly, but indirectly. So they like to get information about you from people or from the media even, you know, they, they just like to kind of keep in touch with you because that gives them a sense of security and a sense of um, like they know what to do. They know how to approach you when the time is right for them to approach you. So let's see what else we can get here. So what are their messages to you? What do they want to say? Let's see what wants to emerge within the reading. So we have the page of wands. Yeah, like a feeling of wanting to just explore things. I'm hearing, are you interested? Are you willing? The Knight of Swords. So they've been definitely thinking about communicating with you, reaching out to you, talking to you. Let's see what else. We have the Ten of Wands here as well. <clears throat> so there's that pressure that I was already kind of feeling in the Chariot energy. Although we do have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck here. So like the energy feels very easygoing, very, very gentle, very much at ease. Um, this person definitely wants to like explore the connection between the two of you. They want to see where things go, how things flow. Um, I feel like a part of them really wants to just take some type of spontaneous, immediate and hasty action towards you. But at the same time, there's just like this feeling of um, like not being sure how exactly that is going to be received. I feel like you receiving their gestures, whatever those gestures may be, 
are really making them feel concerned because they cannot control that. Like this person feels like they want to control the outcome. Um, they want to be received well, but they just are not sure that they are going to be received well. So there is a little bit of pressure here that they are feeling about your relationship. Maybe they just feel like they haven't really treated you the way that you would deserve to be treated or they just feel like they may be screwed up in communication before between the two of you. So I feel like there's just this little bit of like tentative um, burden, like let's say that they're feeling um, when it comes to connecting to you again. So I'm hearing I screwed up in the past. So they did something in the past. Maybe it was just like a little thing. Maybe they didn't pay attention to you, you know, the way that they would have thought it right to pay attention to you. So so there's maybe just that type of energy for others of you. Your person could have really like messed something bigger up here in your relationship. But yeah, there's nonetheless like a certain responsibility, a certain burden that they feel towards your relationship towards you here. There's definitely a lot of passion here, a lot of like adventure, passion, like let's do stuff together type of vibe. Um, wanting to talk to you, wanting to connect to you. They want things to be like free flowing, easy between the two of you. But I feel like this person does, so, does like struggle um, with bringing that about. Like they struggle in manifesting that overall for themselves. Um, it's not just like this connection. I feel like your person just overall struggles with bringing about like a gentle, adventurous lifestyle, especially in an intimate, romantic way. Um, overall, right now, I'm not seeing them feeling too much. So their messages towards you are not like, I'm, I'm really feeling a lot about you. There is more like a sense of passion here, a sense of exploration, seeing different kinds of possibilities and wanting to explore different kinds of possibilities, wanting to like pounce on different opportunities, um, go to different events where they might meet you or run into you. So I want to draw now a couple more tarot cards just to see what else emerges for you guys. All right, so this person does want harmony. Um, they want to be, I'm hearing spiritually and emotionally aligned with you. They are feeling like a lot of emotional stability within your relationship. I feel like that's also what this person is overall searching for. So this person is searching for emotional stability to be able to have like a solid, happy family life as well. That's what they're overall searching for. But they also want to be, you know, emotionally satisfied in all of that, right? So just a family life just family structure is not good enough for this person they feel like they need something more um they feel like they need to have something more in order to thrive in order to really be their best self they need to have a partner a proper partner and they're seeing that in you so what else we have the ace of pentacles so they are starting to come up with a plan a cunning devious plan is what i'm hearing uh, so, yeah, your person is trying to kind of strategize ways on um, which they could get closer to you or just like have an in with you, have a stronger reconnection with all of you. Um, let's see what else we have. The King of Wands here. So there's, again, like a ton of passion. This one is showing up now with a lot more maturity. So I feel like when it comes to them thinking about the future, because the King of Wands kind of literally looking at the pentacle here. So when it comes to your person, like thoughts about the future, they are more mature. When it comes to just connecting to you, you know, like reaching out to you, they're more like flimsy, easygoing, maybe a little bit too flirty sometimes, and just very like daring, passionate. Um, there's a lot of chemistry potentially here, but nothing too serious emerges. But I feel like right now, as they're thinking about the future, between the two of you and like the potential offer to you. They are a lot more mature. They are showing up as a leader. They're stepping into the role of the leader within the connection as well, or like embodying more of that frequency of the leader within your relationship in order to like manifest this happy, harmonious life together. 
because that's what they're wanting. You know, they want a happy home. They want love. They want to be aligned with you. This person does feel very drawn to you, very connected to you. And um, like they know what they want here. They know what they want. They want stability and a home, a security, which is also like seen here with the chariot, with that cancer energy. Um, but I feel like, again, like this person might struggle in bringing that about in their life. But they feel like they might be able to bring that about with you. So yeah, there's a lot of passion here. This person feels confident, bold. Um, they are ready to take action, but they want to take action in a very responsible, mature way. Not just in a hasty, let's just spontaneously go for it kind of way. Even though they kind of would want to, you know, I feel like that's maybe been their past way of operating within your relationship. But now they're like thinking about how they can be more mature, how they can be more grounded, how they can potentially be a little bit more detached from the situation. So let's see what else wants to show up here. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords showing up again. So yeah, there is definitely, definitely a feeling here of wanting to connect to you, wanting to talk to you. The Knight of Swords is literally running in this direction. So the Knight of Swords, their communication style, their wish um, to communicate with you is grounded on or is directed towards the maturity of their character right now. So how they want to show up to you in your um, conversations in the future is, you know, them showing up as this leader, them showing up as this mature, bold um, person who's got it all together, who's got it figured out, or who is doing their best to figure it out, um, who is honest as well here and directed towards really building something together. So all of the direction is kind of going here, you know, the energy is going here, the focus is going there. And I feel like your person really does want to talk to you about maybe ways in which they've, they've seen, um, I'm hearing the error of their ways in the past. Maybe that's like a heavy burden for them right now as well. Like they need to communicate the fact that they thought wrong or did wrong. Um, and that's just not very easy for them to do. So, yeah, they just want to communicate with you, tell you that they would like to try again, that they have been reflecting, that they have changed their ways of looking at your relationship. They maybe changed their perspective here. They've tried to look at your connection from a bit more of a detached perspective. Maybe for some of you, you've had a bit of a separation period and that allowed your person to just reflect a bit more on your relationship, which really give gives them space you know gave them space to think about this yeah um so a person has been letting go of some toxic traits some toxic patterns in their life here that's very good like i love the eight of cups here because it just feels like your person's been really dealing with something they've been addressing the patterns that no longer serve them potentially some toxic patterns it might also be that they've been leaving some relationships in their life um they again would feel like they want to talk about that with you or they've been considering leaving some relationships behind um overall they have been trying to just break some patterns in their life overall the things that are not serving them maybe some addictions some temptations here they've been trying to work on those so we have the queen of pentacles on the bottom here so yeah there's a sense of stability this person is searching for with the queen of pentacles again it's stability it's groundedness um it's nurturing like they want to nurture the opportunity that they have with you to build something is what I'm feeling here. Okay, so what do we want to do next? I'm going to get some sacred creators cards out here as well. So overall, we do have a lot of fire signs like Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius energy is here, is here, Gemini, Aquarius and Libra is over here. Um, we have Cancer, we also have Virgo and Taurus and Capricorn showing up. 
I feel like just the energy here is like your person is trying, but there is like a feeling that I can't shake here, especially with these two. There's a feeling like they're not sure if they still have a chance with you. Um, like they're just they're just not sure if there's still potential for the two of you to build something deeper, something long lasting together. Like there is there is a big feeling of questioning that. So let's see what else. So let's see what else wants to show up. What do you really want? Yeah, like literally, like your person is questioning your relationship and they're questioning your intentions, your wishes, your motives here as well, your feelings. Like they're not sure what, what do you really want? What do you want? Where do you want to go? Like, are you still willing to build this? And like, I feel like for some of you, you're not sure as well. Like you might be unsure what to do with this person. You might be confused about what to do with this person. And they do feel it, you know, they don't know how to proceed because they don't know how you feel either. So I feel like that might be creating a bit of confusion in your relationship. Um, but yeah, this person really wants to get to the bottom of what do you want, right? So what does group number one want? What does the Rose Quartz want? What do you really want? What's your desire? What do you want out of life? Not just out of this relationship, but this person like wants to go deeper here as well. Like see what do you really want out of life as well. To just see if your values are aligned, if your needs, wishes, desires for life and a certain lifestyle are aligned as well. So let's see what else. Um, so the distraction of shiny things, this person is also admitting with this one that they might sometimes be a bit of a magpie, that they might be attracted to shiny things. They might be attracted to new things. This person could sometimes have a wandering eye or they could struggle with having a wandering eye. Like they're interested in working on that. That could be like the burden of their being right now, you know, the thing that they're trying to let go of or release or work through with the Eight of Cups here. It's just something that's presenting a big struggle for them right now. Um, this person can get easily distracted by new people, especially by shiny people in their life. They, they could just have like a tendency towards that, you know like being distracted or drawn towards new and shiny things. And they're aware of that and they're aware that that is impacting your relationship. And it's it's just like, there's a feeling there of like, they want to talk about it, but at the same time, they don't know how to talk about this. Like they want to address this issue, but they don't know how to address it. They also don't know what exactly they want to say on the issue or on the topic they just know that the topic is and exists and it's a pattern of theirs but they're they're just not really sure of how to actually like directly honestly clearly talk about this so let's see what else okay so what else do we have we have celebrate your wins so your person here feels like they're also like just celebrating the good that's come out of this relationship you know like celebrating their wins celebrating the things that you guys have accomplished together how far you have come together they're thinking about that they're just trying to be mindful of the good things that have come out of this connection and so how far you guys have come together on this path together you know even if it's been healing work and um even if it's been like self-reflective work for both of you on your own sides this person still feels like you guys do need to celebrate your wins in the relationship and how you've grown and how much you've learned already so let's see what else we have bliss is worth creating from for from interesting so with this one, it's like a feeling of like, how do I say say things again? Like your person feels like they're really maybe overthinking. How do they want to communicate certain things with you or bring some things to your attention, to your awareness? They might even be writing things down, then crossing them out. Um, 
they definitely like think that bliss your relationship here is worth creating you know bliss is worth it the harmony the alignment the family life the security it's worth it for them i want to get one more card for you guys so what else do they want to say okay so fill your cup with sacred giggles they want to make things more easygoing, more lighthearted between the two of you. This person's deeply, deeply focused on just making things a little bit easier for the two of you. Like they want things to be more playful. They want things to be more easygoing. They want things to be just easeful. Like they don't want everything in this connection to be so hard. You know, this person does not want to struggle so much. Um, they they want to also like be able to be a playful giggly self with you you know I feel like that's something that they do deeply value that playfulness within our relationship and they want more of that they want to kind of manifest more of that in your relationship or bring more of that into the relationship so we're just going to get you guys guidance now for the very end. So just kind of getting um, a frequency tarot card for you. So let's see what wants to show up. So let's see group number one. So what wants to show up here for you group number one? What's your guidance here when it comes to this person? What's your guidance? when it comes to group number one's person. Okay, we have intimacy. <laughs> so you guys, you are invited to practice intimacy with this person. Intimacy is like a card that can be described of, uh, or described as into me see. So see into me, feel into me, you know, it can kind of be um, like broken down into that. So with intimacy showing up for you today, group number one, you are in need of deeper, stronger, more aligned intimacy and more aligned intimate relationships in your life. You're in need of that. You can no longer stay closed and live a happy life, right? So true intimacy is to see into other people, um, for other people to see into you right, for you to allow other people to see into you and to let yourself see into them as well. So this requires that you're open enough to meet another person at the heart center, withholding nothing from them on a physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual level. So with the intimacy card showing up for you guys today, Try to allow yourself to open up to others and try to allow yourself to open up to the person that we're asking about here as well. Let them see into you. Allow them to see into you. The, the energy of allowing here is very, very deep, you know, and really like hits the nail on the head in terms of the gesture of what to do. So offer the truth of yourself to them. You may fear rejection, but also a meaningful relationship is always worth the risk because the intimacy that you get, like it overpowers everything else at the end, right? So this is your guidance here. Try to practice deeper intimacy, more intimate alignment with this person, more openness, allow yourself to feel into them, see into them more clearly, Practice caring for the relationship and caring for yourself and for your own emotions here as well. But do open up more as well, right? So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing your energy. If any of you do want to book a personal tarot reading, you can check out my Etsy shop down below to get more of a personal read on your very specific situation. If you want to connect to 18 plus, pick a card tarot readings and special offers like free tarot readings, check out my Patreon for those offers. The link is down below. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for sharing your energy. Thank you for listening and thank you for growing. 
Um, thank you for liking, for subscribing, and for supporting this channel. Thank you for your comments and for connecting with the community. I will see you all soon in the next video. Till then, hope you have a beautiful rest of the day, and I will connect to you guys very, very soon. Bye! Namaste. Hello, my darling group number two. You have picked the pyrite crystal for today. And you guys have picked the devil, the devil card, the beautiful golden retriever card in the cat uh, tarot. So let's see what wants to show up. What are the messages from a person today? So what I'm hearing is I can't stop thinking about you. You're always on my mind. Like with the dog energy, I'm getting just this vibe of shake hands with me, play with me, talk to me, do stuff with me. Like I feel like your person is very attached to you. Yeah, like the, with the dog energy, there's also like a feeling of anxiety here. Like whenever you're not around them, like they get a little bit <clears throat> scared, a little bit anxious, a little bit like <gasps> unsure, like what's going on? Are they coming back? Is Is the person on my mind coming back? So this person could be struggling with some attachment um, issues, like they, they really want to be with you. They could be anxiously attached with the devil. Um, there's also like a feeling of um, just like wanting to be around you a lot, wanting to be around you all the time. Um, like, yeah, just, just wanting to spend time with you. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like that's just a confirmation for you guys. So whenever I sneeze, for those of you who might be new here, it's just always like a confirmation. For if you guys like need an additional confirmation from Spirit, the sneeze is going to come through. <laughs> so, yeah. So what else do we have here? I'm hearing, I've been thinking a lot about you lately. This person really does want to be physical with you as well. So there is a lot of like physical desire. They want S-E-X with you. They want to feel you. They want to taste you. They want to experience you uh, through all of their senses. Also their sixth, sixth sense. They want to experience you through everything. They just want your relationship to be more sensual. If you guys have been physically intimate before, this person is saying that they miss you you they miss your body they miss your presence they miss how good you feel to them when they are with you so they really do miss you or they just miss the desire of that if you guys have not been with each other they kind of just miss what they've made this relationship physically to be in their own mind so let's see what else we got here. We have the seven of pentacles showing up here. So your person is trying to be patient here. They're trying to wait for the right time. I'm hearing the right time to strike. So they might have some type of plan in their head, some type of plan for you. We have strength here as well. Yeah. Okay. So they're fighting their own demons with strength here. They're doing their best to kind of fight the devil, especially when it comes to very intense sexual lust towards you. This person is doing their best to kind of push that to the side to not, you know, focus on that. Um, so they're kind of fighting their lust as a quote unquote sin, let's say right now. Let's see what else. But it's just a very intense energy of lust as well. We have the Fool here. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune showing up for you guys. Okay, so we have lots of major arcanas. We also have the Hierophant on the bottom here. With the Hierophant here, your person wants to be wise about your relationship. They feel like this connection is faded. Um, so they they also feel like they should just allow things to take their course. With the Seven of Pentacles, especially, this is like the only non-major arcana card that we have here. With the Seven of Pentacles energy, there's this feeling of, I need to allow nature to take its course. And for me, usually the Seven of Pentacles is also like the energy of, you know, just 
kind of attuning to the time that you're in, you know, in autumn, there's a harvest, you know, in a winter, we rest, in spring, everything is blooming and blossoming and life is starting to bam up again, you know. Uh, so, so there's definitely like this feeling here of going with the times, going with what is required, going with what is expected of them at this time. So in this specific period, what is expected of them. They're kind of trying to attune themselves to that. Yeah. They are trying not to rush anything. I feel like this person is, however, on a mental dimension, like when it comes to just their thoughts about you, they're thinking about you a lot. But when it comes to the physical world, they're trying not to rush things too much. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune, what I'm getting is the sense of it happens when it happens. It will happen when it happens. You know, it's, it's like just this feeling of allowing things to come to them when the timing is right and kind of trusting the external circumstances to mirror their desires when the timing is right for that. Yeah. But the Wheel of Fortune, there's like an interesting feeling here of like your person just going about their day, doing their things, you know, they're taking care of their responsibilities. But like at the back of their mind, there is always just this feeling of you, like what are you doing? What's going on with you? When are we coming together? You know, that's always somehow in the back of their head with the Wheel of Fortune. So with the fool, definitely your person wants a new beginning here they, or they want a beginning, you know, even if you guys, some of you have not fully begun yet in the physical world either. This is more like a, a tentative relationship, you know, so a lot of you here might not have fully begun this connection yet in the physical, might not have talked to each other about your feelings might not have like expressed things clearly, had on, you know, honestly, truthfully, may not even have a lot of awareness about what it is that you're exactly wanting here either. So there are a lot of like unknowns still when it comes to this connection. So a person, yeah, they feel like they have their own sense of unknowns here, but they also have you as an entity, as a person in their life that is a whole other unknown to them like the other that they want to get to know and learn through and um, get changed by. I'm hearing I want to do inner work with you here as well. So overall, what I also want to address here is that this relationship is very intense. Just because of all four major arcanas, this is a lot of intensity that we are dealing with here. You know, this person could trigger you, you could trigger them, you know, most likely you're both triggering each other strongly in your relationship here. Um, there's a lot of intense emotions. There could be like a lot of chemistry. There could be like a lot of sinistry that you have in your chart where like the highs are very high and the lows are really drastic and terrible. So... It's like, I'm hearing you guys have a lot to deal with in this relationship. With strength here, I feel like strength here is like pulling everybody out of the abyss, out of the gutter here. That's the kind of vibe, or these two actually, they're carrying everything on their shoulders. Um, yeah, because strength is talking about like endurance, being able to persevere through difficulty. And that's where your person's at right now, persevering, working through things working through difficulty, difficulty to be able to manifest something greater, more loving, more accommodating for the two of you. Yeah, let's see what, what else we get. Okay, so we have the four of cups. So this person right now is not taking the cup. So they're not yet very responsive to you. Like for others of you um, that don't maybe resonate with the anxious attachment, you could also like be dealing with a person who's a little bit avoidant or just doesn't know how to deal with this relationship because of the emotional intensity of it. So a person could be struggling with like with being clear 
internally on how to meet your relationship. I feel like here they're not sure how do they respond to you, right? They're not sure how do they meet you? What do they do with you, you know? It's like you're a little bit out of the ordinary for them. That's why you maybe trigger them as well. You are someone who's going to call out this person's shadow side a lot with the devil. But yeah, like they just don't know how to deal with you often. Like you are... You're like that like pebble in the machine that ends up shutting the whole machine down. You know, you're like this really small thing and ends up like shutting everything down. You know, it's like that type of vibe here that I'm getting. Like a person sometimes struggles to know what the heck they even want with you. Um, we do have the seven of cups here, which is really like meeting that energy here now. Um, so yeah, they struggle with what do they want? You know, this person feels like they have... A lot of possibilities, a lot of opportunities, a lot of paths to go towards. Many different paths are available to them about this relationship, about what type of relationship they want to have with you, what do they want to manifest with you. And they are struggling because they do not know how to make a choice. And I feel like that's why they're not taking the cup here either, because they just don't know like what type of relationship do they want to have with you anyway. Like, what do they even want to manifest with you? You know, like they're sure about some small things. Like, yes, they want to have an intimate relationship with you. Yes, they want to be physical with you. Yes, they want to feel you and they want all of that. But then when it comes to other things, they kind of fall short. You know, they're not sure what exactly they want. They're not sure how do they want to ground this connection, right? So there's a lot of intensity here, which makes it easier for them to then feel things on a physical level between the two of you. But when it comes to other things, like they don't know necessarily how to deal with this intensity. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups here now. They consider you to be someone who's super lovely. I'm hearing you take down all my defenses <laughs> with the Queen of Cups. I really love that. So your person really feels like you, you know, know how to touch them, you know how to handle them, you know how to meet them. You really make them feel vulnerable at times as well. We have the Knight of Swords showing up here now. Anything else? We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, what I'm getting here is your person just wants to like talk with you, they, they want to slowly build a friendship, a relationship with you so that they are clearer on or get clearer on what exactly they can manifest with you. We have the three of wands here. We have strength again on the bottom as well. Um, like they just want to be clear on what the heck they're manifesting with you and what the heck they want, you know. So that's, that's the vibe here. What do I want to have? Because they know some small things but then when it comes to you know again a tangible grounded connection this person falls short of that but they do want to have something more with you they don't want to just have like a physical relationship with you um they are thinking about like connecting to you more as a friend to get to know you better to learn more about you um, they're thinking about communicating with you or reaching out to you to talk to you or just kind of invite you out for a drink even, you know. And then what they're also thinking about here is can I meet them? Can I face them? Can I see them? You know, can I, can I deal with the vulnerability that is coming up for me when I'm with them? So, so that's something that they are like, again, like here reflecting on, you know, they might feel a bit of discomfort around that as well um overall there's also like another energy that's emerging here which is this three of wands energy which is about your person wanting to make wise decisions in your relationship they might want to have like a project that they are working on with you they might want to like build the project with you they want to focus on something or put their energy into something in the external world that they can build with you here with the three of wands energies. And they want to travel towards you. They want to like, they, they want to travel. They want to see you. 
yeah especially for those of you who might be long distance or you know there's just like distance between the two of you it doesn't necessarily have to be long but your person is thinking about like reaching out to you talking to you connecting to you i'm hearing now more than ever so there might be something that happened um maybe the wheel of fortune the destiny wheel is kind of turning into a different direction for them right now and they feel like they want to reach out to you talk to you just about their current circumstances just be like a human you know just be open about what's going on with them but like they also want to deepen your bond with the three of cups like there's this feeling of deepening the bond yeah so what i'm getting from this person is like on one level they are really wanting like genuinely purely wanting to deepen your bond they want to have a deeper loving bond with you on another level there's a contrasting energy where they are just very very anxious about that right so the deepening of your bond is making them feel anxious and that is something that resonates for both anxious and avoidant attachment types you know so sometimes like deepening the bond for an anxious person can also be very scary um just because then you know you have this possibility of losing them that's even more strong for an avoidant it's you know just the the thought of intimacy is like red uh, sirens going off you know so it's that that what that's what i'm feeling here your person could also just have, you know, like certain traits of anxious attachment or or avoidant attachment. It doesn't have to be like 100% um, true for them either. Um, so before we continue, I just want to call out signs. So we have Capricorn, Leo, Libra. We have Jupiter here. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and Cancer, Scorpio. And I'm hearing Taurus. So Taurus for some of you even. Um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy here. I'm feeling very dreamy is what I'm hearing here as well. Um, so let's see what else wants to show up here. So what are their messages to you? Creator Earth. Yeah, this person wants to ground your connection. They want to make it more solid. That's why they're also like here with this pentacle energy all about patience, stability, making things solid. Cozy up with risk. And yeah, they're, they're kind of getting comfortable with risk right now here. Like getting comfortable with, well, if it goes south, it goes south. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I just have to risk it anyway. Like they feel like they need to take action to risk it, to do something at least, you know, even if they risk rejection or risk, risk just, you know, maybe you ignoring them or whatever it is that would hurt them they're just trying to cozy up with risk become more comfortable with risking it and we have fierce serenity as well so this fierce serenity there's a sense of like your person trying to be patient um trying to align with that sense of purity pure-heartedness self-love acceptance with strength there there's a sense of conquering their fears their anxieties here as well and we have the lion here which is really aligned with the strength card as well so let's see what else uh success in transformation so a person feels like they've been transforming a lot or they just might want to speak to you talk to you about their own transformative journey their own transformations we have creator alchemy yeah they've been trying to turn things around energetically there's a sense of like transforming things here, um, accepting and receiving things and through acceptance of how things are in the moment, transforming them. Yeah, this person wants to transform your situation. They want to shift your situation towards things that like feel good for the, both of you. But yes, at the same time here are very like grounding, down to earth grounded, like something that can actually be maintained. They want to be able to maintain this connection especially since there's so much intensity going on here between the two of you this person is aware that because of that intensity because of the intense energy the intense attraction the chemistry whatever it is you know the sexual attraction they know they need to like ground it even more especially for themselves like this person might feel like they just need to 
ground, ground, ground your relationship. Alrighty, let's go into um, guidance for you guys now, you know, so let's get a frequency tarot card for you as guidance to see what needs to show up. So what's the guidance for group number two in regards to their person right now? Okay, we have organization. <laughs> so you guys, you need to clear your mind. You need to journal. You need to know what you want here. You need to step into your integrity on the bottom here and really like figure out what the heck do you even want in this relationship. I'm going to take integrity here as well. Um, so yeah, you need to organize the clutter of your mind. You may need to journal to like figure out your feelings here for this person. Like what are your potential actions? What possibilities do you have when it comes to manifesting this? Like what actions can you take? What actions can you not take? You know, there's a need to get clear. The time has come to be more organized in your relationship, especially in regards to your thoughts, your feelings about this person. And that's why I'm telling you to journal because journaling can help you like or really deeply like organize your feelings, your thoughts about this person, about this connection. Um, also, like the productivity of this connection, like the moving forward of this connection is currently being inhibited by the lack of organization. When I say the lack of organization, it's just chaos energy, you know, so um, it's just like a lot of intensity moving around and not being grounded down. So that's why there's again, also like here in their energy in your person's energy there's a feeling a need to ground a need to organize a need to create um like better structures within the connection that you can then rely on um so you should always also organize in the relationship according to what you feel is the most important so what is most important to you here with the integrity as well. You do need to get clear about your actual priorities when it comes to this connection. You can pick like three most important things, for example, when it comes to this person or when it comes to your connection, the things that you want to build upon and like the things that you want to repeat or like repeat, um, do in a specific order. You can write down your thoughts, keep lists, um, but also like do one thing at a time here when it comes to this connection. Due to the heavy intensity that is present here between the two of you, it's important to simplify, 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 simplify as much as you possibly can. Um, yeah, and ask other people for support for their own thoughts, uh, for you to pick their head about this connection as well. Um, yeah. If you feel like you're in over your head, you might have bitten off more than you can chew. And it's just important to talk it out with other people as well. Get other people's perspectives on this relationship. And with integrity, it's important to honor your personal truth here. You know, integrity makes you feel whole and unimpaired. So do not run from accountability. Um, brutal honesty with yourself is very, very important at this time, also in helping you organize and to figure things out with this person, with this relationship for yourself, for your own peace of mind. Um, it's important that you do not compromise yourself in any way. Now is the time to be there for yourself completely and live by what you know is right for you, right? Sacrificing your moral and ethical principles or doing what does not feel good for you as a form of self-betrayal. So do not do that. Be honest with yourself and, you know, be there for yourself right now. Honor your personal truth here and figure things out. Figure what fits you and your lifestyle in terms of how do you want to simplify this connection. And it's important that you journal here or like put down a list so that you can like more clearly see things or talk it out with someone so that you can more clearly see things about this connection. All right. So thank you for tuning in, you guys. That's it for today. Um, if any of you want to book a personal tarot reading to get to the bottom of your own specific situation, you can check out my Etsy offers. The link is down below to my Etsy shop. If you want to check it out, if you want to like explore your own individual relationship with me on a deeper level, 
If you are interested in 18 plus pick a card, tarot readings, check out my Patreon for those. The link to that is also down below. So thank you guys for tuning in. I love you all. Thank you so much for sharing your energy. Thank you for liking, for subscribing, and thank you so much for commenting down below, for supporting this channel and my work here. Um, yeah, all my love and blessings to you. Hope the reading gave you some clarity and I'll see you all in the next one. Blessings. Much love. See you soon. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number three. Welcome. You have picked the opalite crystal for today as your crystal. And you guys have picked the ten of cups for today. Beautiful. Right, so we're going to see what are the messages from your person, what wants to show up from them for today. We're going to first of all just draw a couple of additional cat tarot cards. Um, yeah, and see what happens, see what emerges. So calling in group number three's person, please. So they're saying they've been thinking about this connection, like especially with this card, like they're eyeing the cups, they're eyeing their emotions, they're eyeing the intimacy here. I'm hearing I want to snatch it up, you know. So yeah, there's a sense of like love, intimacy that they want to build. With the Ten of Cups, there's a sense of alignment this person feels with you. Um, A spiritual, emotional connection that they feel with you as well they might be unsure about what to do with their emotions here we're going to see what else we got though so let's see what else what is going on with them what are their messages what are the messages of group number three's person we have the star <clears throat> So with the star here, your person is very hopeful for this connection. With the star, there's also a Uranus influence here. There's Aquarius Uranus influence here, especially like with the cup being tugged down. Um, there's a feeling like certain paradigm shifts needs to happen or um, some unexpected events, some unexpected changes need to happen that break some things, um, that maybe break an obstacle in the way, you know, that allows for a clear path for the two of you. So let's see what else. We have the Page of Pentacles. Amazing. Let's get one more. Okay. We have the Hermit. Yeah, your person is just kind of contained within themselves right now. They might be keeping to themselves or keeping a lot of like their emotions to themselves for now as well. They know that something is going to happen here in the future that's going to create a shift, a change, a transformation for the two of you. But I feel like for now, they are a little bit more introverted. Um, they just feel like they might be self-reflecting. They might be isolating themselves a little bit. They might be even afraid to reach out to you or connect to you right now. Like even if that's the case, you know, even if they're afraid to connect or talk to you right now, they still feel a great deal of love for you, a great deal of alignment here within your relationship. So this person does feel deeply, greatly connected to you still on an emotional, spiritual level. They might think that you guys are soulmates or they might feel just a very strong, I'm hearing esoteric, psychic connection to you, very strong, energetic connection to you even. They might be feeling a lot of chemistry here, a lot of serenity, a lot of love and nurturing energy existing between the two of you. And again, like with the star, there's a great deal of hopefulness for the future here. With the Page of Pentacles, there's a wish, a need even to explore this connection more deeply on the physical level. Um, to like go forward and explore things more. Um, we have the nine of cups showing up here on the bottom. We also do have the devil showing up here on the bottom. So yeah, your person could be dealing with some like shadow work stuff right now. With their obsessive thoughts about you even, they could be dealing with that a little bit. Like they feel emotionally fulfilled. What I'm finding interesting here is 
like they feel emotionally fulfilled with you guys you know this person also wants simplicity within your relationship they don't want to make things too difficult or difficult to handle you know but there are also like a lot of temptations that they are experiencing that they're feeling when it comes to you guys right so um especially like more sexual topics here as well but overall this person feels a lot of joy with you they feel like their wishes are fulfilled with you their dreams are coming true here they feel a sense of spiritual um personal completion with you as well there's still a need here of like something happening something needs to kind of shift with this star card um like there's there's a certain healing maybe that needs to happen some trauma healing like a little bit of it there's not a lot of it like a little bit of it that may need to happen and with the hermit there's just this feeling of like your person still being like in this energy of soul searching with the star we have this energy of searching deep within yourself you know finding the soul purpose within yourself and with the hermit there's also this energy of soul searching finding uh, answers being on a quest for answers so a person here definitely could be trying to understand your connection better but they are finding it easiest to deal with that or to find answers to their questions on their own um so within themselves um yeah so there there could be like isolating they could be in solitude right now they are self-reflecting um contemplating on your relationship um, there's also a feeling here of your person being quite comfortable with things being unconventional also with the star here so if you guys like resonate with the unconventionality of our relationship or of your relationship here um, your person is quite all right with that they're like okay sure you know we can do this if you guys like live across you know the ocean you know or if there's a big age gap or if there's yeah, like, um, what else? Cultural differences, religious differences. They're like, okay, we can work with that. You know, it's okay. We can, we can figure that out. You know, like whatever it is that might be the obstacle, they're not really bothered by it. This person's okay with things being unconventional and just, you know, it's just something um, that's like whatever to them. Yeah. So they want to explore this connection deeper when the time comes is what i'm hearing the page of pentacles is also more of an introverted card um that's focused on new beginnings so this person does have like a lot of youthful curiosity um but that youthful curiosity is also like framed by their practical grounded and realistic approach to their life and to just in general their approach to life the way that they choose and prefer to live life um they want to learn more about you they also want to um, develop skills in how to handle your relationship better if that resonates for some of you we have a sense of groundedness like they want to be more grounded um they want to be open-minded they want to be optimistic they are very interested in what this connection has to offer and this person does want to have like very very realistic goals when it comes to two of you, they want to have deep, realistic goals and want to manifest them. But there's a need here to have realistic goals, right? They want things to be realistic and grounded. So when it comes to your guys' emotional connection or like even a spiritual connection, your person could be maybe triggered. There might be some shadow self stuff appearing, some ego stuff appearing, some stubbornness showing up. There could be attachments, unclear thinking showing up. This person could also be feeling a little bit addicted to you and even like very, very tempted by you, especially when it comes to more of a sexual experience of you. So let's see what else we can get here. Spirit, what else? Okay, so we have the nine of pentacles. So this person knows that they can manifest really a really good life with you you know it's a life that you're both comfortable in that you both feel comfortable with we have the moon mm, there's still like a little bit of 
yeah that unclear energy a bit of a foggy energy a lack of clarity a bit of confusion like where do we go from here what do we do now let's see the queen of pentacles showing up here again a groundedness and nurturing of the connection is present we have the nine of cups showing up this person is really trying to satisfy their desires here also we have the two of wands they want to initiate things between the two of you they want to initiate things within your relationship actually i want to look at oh yeah we have the magician the magician was the bottom deck energy the bottom deck energy is also the ten of pentacles here so like this person wants stability right and stability is very attainable for them here also but like there is maybe something like a little tiny thing potentially that doesn't necessarily like align currently i i just i was led to get up from the chair and just look at the spread look at the card from a bit of a distance so maybe you're hearing like a change in in my voice or how the camera is picking it up but yeah like i feel like your person is trying to look at your connection from a bit of a detached perspective and that detached perspective is showing up here with the hermit and also with this two of wands there's a feeling of we're just wanting to look at your connection from a bit of a different perspective to have clarity, to know what they are going towards, what they're manifesting. I feel like, yeah, just this person really not like feels a lot of deep emotional fulfillment with you, with this nine of cups coming through here and here. There's also like a feeling of them waiting for something to occur with these three cards here. You know, like there's there's a feeling of something happening, something needing to happen. Like like something needs to be put right. Like a machine needs to start working, you know, and that's going to then help everything work well again. I don't know. It's like, it's a little thing. It's just something I feel like that should happen in the physical world um, that like leads the two of you together again. Or uh, maybe it could be traveling here with the two of wands. It could mean just you guys traveling to each other or creating a meeting where you get to connect and meet each other. Yeah. Feel like your person is just waiting there's an energy here of peacefully waiting for the situation to allow a meeting for the two of you because because like i don't know like overall i'm just feeling a lot of stability here a lot of harmony alignment you know there might be some confusion here a bit of a bit of fogginess like you guys not being very clear about what this connection is bringing but that's just because some things in the physical world have not yet fallen into place but like I, i'm just getting like this person is very sure of you you know with all these beautiful cards showing up here um talking about deep affection and deep stability and the wish to have like a grounded connection with you and like wanting to manifest that as well with the magician there is definitely like this powerful feeling of okay i want to manifest this this person does have strong will they know what they want and they're open to manifesting things with you guys um with the queen of pentacles there's again this stability patience patience is showing up here as well like a patience with the situation and patience is also here and here. So let's see what else. Let's see what else wants to show up. We have soul on fire. I'm hearing you set my soul on fire. Um, it's it's just showing up as a ring of fire. Um, yeah. So the ring of fire, the song, you know. This person feels like their soul is on fire with you, like you are bound together, you're connected. They, there's strong harmony here, there's a connection there. There's a passion here as well. Let's see what else. The edge of evolution feels messy. Okay, so 
yeah, this connection is calling them to improve themselves, is calling them to work on themselves as well. Maybe through little, tiny little triggers. Um, that's all right. Like this person might feel like things are a bit confusing or a bit messy because of that. Let's see what else. You are magic. So they think you are magic. Like the things that you share with them, the things that you do, the way that you can touch them on an emotional level, it's magical to them. We have befriend the world, polarize. So there also could be like a strong polarity here between the two of you. Like again, like with this polarizing energy, there could be a very like unconventional relationship that you guys have or like a very strong difference in the physical world. You know, again, like a cultural difference could be very extreme, could be very big. Age gap could be a thing um religious circumstances could be a thing um like maybe your families don't get along maybe that's a thing for some of you as well maybe you guys live on different continents that can be a thing for you guys you know and with the polarizing energy this person also does feel a lot of conflicting energy towards you like where they are sometimes like really upset really mad at you really like maybe pissed off and then they feel like on the other hand, like all this inexplicable, serene, tender love towards you. And they just, you know, are trying to hold the whole spectrum. That's why things might be feeling messy for them. And like their soul is on fire here also, just because they're feeling a lot. Uh, let's see what else. We have prosperity sisters, our happiness and joy. Yeah, that's what your person wants to like manifest here. They want to manifest prosperity. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Like they want prosperity here, but they also want happiness with the Ten of Cups. They want that with the Ten of Pentacles as well. They want joy, you know, they want tenderness. They want stability. They want you both to be happy in a relationship. Yeah, like like that's what's happening here. Let's see. Let's just get you guys some guidance now. Like I don't know, I, I keep searching for things that are not like maybe energetically aligned, but all that I'm tuning into is like confusion, mental confusion that's coming from the moon or just confusion about like you guys not being physically at the spot where you need to be yet, you know, so there's maybe a physical obstacle that just needs to kind of fall into alignment, as I said, because otherwise in terms of their energy, like I'm not picking up on a lot of problems you know there's the devil here but the devil is more like their ego like maybe they're just a little bit um stubborn but it's not like really a big thing it's not showing up as a big energy there's just like a feeling with the star like something some small thing here needs to shift some, some small thing you know it's not a big thing but overall there's a lot of magic in this connection this person feels <sighs> yeah so so that's it. Um, I feel like that's maybe a message for some of you as well, where you're maybe searching for things that are not going right in this connection, where you just have to like kind of let go and trust and surrender to it. Um, not like analyze and overthink everything, but just kind of go with the flow and get to know this person. Just like chill out and be with them, spend time with them, you know. Like overthinking can make the relationship feel messy sometimes when it really isn't. Um, so yeah, let's get you guys some guidance now. Let's get you some guidance. So let's see what wants to show up for group number three as guidance. Please, in this relationship, we have meditation for you guys. Like chill out, meditate, you know, come into alignment with your own self. We have alignment on the bottom of the deck and have a positive intention for the relationship. We have positive intention here on the bottom as well. Just going to put this one here also. We're not necessarily going to look into it, but there's just a need to have a positive intention here for this connection, for this person, for this relationship, so that you're not manifesting things that you don't want, right? Let's see, meditation. So you guys, you need to meditate. This one's just like really on the nose type of card, you know? It's a guidance card that is saying you would really benefit by meditation in any of its various forms right now. So with the hectic pace and demands of modern life, also like maybe the confusion of this connection, you know, you may be feeling a lot of stress, lack of clarity, maybe feeling overworked or over exhausted, like overly exhausted, right? 
So by training your mind to induce a desired state of consciousness through meditation, you will be able to change your perception of things. You will be able to look at things in a different way. Um, I, f I again feel like there is like a parallel here with me just standing up and trying to look at the situation from a more like observer, higher perspective before. So that's what is being called to here, right? Mindfulness is crucial for you at this time. So try out different types of meditation if that's something that you're feeling called to right now. Um, just in order to find the ones that work for you the best and try to make a daily habit of that, you know, try to have like daily meditations, um, like 15 minutes a day. Try to aim for that or 20 minutes a day at least try to aim for that um in terms of alignment there is a message here that you're about to align with yourself especially if you meditate you're about to align with yourself more about to manifest what you desire um spirit is letting you know that you are letting go of resistance and you have let go of resistance and as a result you're coming more and more into alignment with your desire every day so when you align your frequency with the frequency of the source consciousness within you, all things are possible is what this card is also telling you. So have a positive intention for what you want to manifest and keep doing what you are doing. Um, this is a particularly auspicious time to focus your desires into manifestation also. So if there's something that you wanted to manifest or have been wanting to manifest, now is the time to go towards that and follow your joy. You know, if you're not sure what to do, where to go, follow your joy. What would someone who loves themselves do? What would someone who follows their joy do at this time and follow that? Um, yeah. And like, focus on having a positive intention for all that you are doing. Okay, that's it from me for today you guys thank you so much for tuning in for sharing your energy with me it's been a pleasure tuning in to you and your energy so we have aquarius energy we have i'm um, getting just the moon like pisces cancer energy here uh virgo energy uh, capricorn and taurus as well over here and that's basically it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for connecting. If any of you want to connect deeper on your own specific issues or on your own specific relationships, you can check out my Etsy uh, tarot offers. The Etsy shop is down below if you want to get like a personal reading on your specific situations. If you want to connect to 18 plus, pick a card, tarot readings, check out my Patreon for those. The link to that is also down below. You also get to participate in special offers such as free tarot readings in a month. So yeah, if you want to connect to special offers, get 18 plus erotic pick a card tarot readings, check out the Patreon community. And thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for supporting this channel by liking, by subscribing, and by commenting down below. I really love tuning into all of your comments and connecting to you through that. Um, so yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope the reading gives you some more clarity on your relationship. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Namaste.